Hey, what's up everybody? It's a little over an hour since I've been at work or came home from work. I went straight to the nail shop, paid them, because I got my nails done yesterday. I think I already showed you guys in yesterday's video, but I got my nails done yesterday and I wasn't able to pay because my card didn't go through. So today I went there and I told them I was going to pay because one thing I don't want to do is just when I get in somewhere good, I don't want them to be nervous about are they going to pay or not? And uh, one thing I like about how I was raised, no offense to how parents raise their children, but I'm glad I did not go into that establishment. Like, uh, so, uh, my car ain't going through, like, what's they? The book, like, I mean. The simple fact that I came in there and I was like, oh my gosh, what do I got to do? You know, do I have to take my nails off? Do I have to leave my phone as collateral or something like that until I pay this or whatever? But luckily, they went on ahead and let me go ahead and pay today instead of yesterday because I have to learn this. Whenever I deposit check or transfer money from a different account to one account, I have to make sure that I wait a whole nother day before I start using my card. And um, I don't know if anybody's familiar with the Make of America app and you talk to this one lady online or, or virtual called Erica. I had asked her today, I said, is my credit card ready to use? And she put, okay, your credit card is ready to use. And I'm like, okay, great, because I would hate to go, I would hate to have gone down, all the way back down, can you get my words together? I would have hate to have to go all the way back down to the nail shop, use my card to pay for my nails, and it's still not working. So I want to make sure that everything is paid for, and I want to make sure everything is working before I pay for things. Um... Yeah, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and get my clothes ready for tomorrow. Then I'm going to see if I can do a little bit more laundry. I'm going to have to wash my blankets and sheets and my pillowcases. And then I'm going to go ahead and um get my clothes ready for tomorrow and maybe call it an early night. I really want some Subway, but I'll wait, for t I'll wait till tomorrow. I really wanted some Subway. I really do want some Subway. Not to mention today I was on Bank of America getting on their nerves. I was online like, um, so yeah, I accidentally put some extra money in my thing that I didn't want and now I'm overdraft and blah 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 all that banking business so whatever anyway so let me go ahead and get started with cleaning up I just want to let you guys know what I'm I don't know what this weekend is gonna have um, I'm gonna try to see if I can do a vlog every weekend if not a video every weekend um, because sometimes during the week I just don't be having I just don't be knowing what to tape and I feel like I tape stupid stuff and I don't I don't really um most of the time, I don't feel like taping. Sometimes, I don't. But I want to make sure I'm consistent with you guys. Because 45, I have 45 subscribers that was faithful and true enough to subscribe to me. And I appreciate that. And I know look, like I have a suntan with this concealer that I didn't even blend in. Because I was trying to wake my eyes up. I do need to go to several places tomorrow. One, one, okay. <laughs> I'm almost a little ashamed to say this. But um, I think I did mention it in last night's video. If not, um, here we go. I made an appointment tomorrow to get my chin waxed at the nail shop. Hi, my name is Roshi Ball, and I have hair on my chin. It's like little whiskers, and then sometimes it gets thick, like it gets thick in this part right here, and little fine hairs right here. So I'm going to get my chin waxed tomorrow. Hopefully they do a number on it. I don't want the thread, so hopefully they don't do the thread. I will go ahead and take the wax. That's fine, but I got to get my chin waxed. And if, uh... Things look good, <laughs> feel good. That's what I'm going to start doing. So I'm going to have to make me a whole spa nail treatment day. Excuse me, I farted. I farted again. Sorry, it just sounds like a motorcycle's revving up back there. And um, <clears throat> yes, yeah, so what I'm going to do is every month I'm going to treat myself to a good, every two weeks, I'm going to treat myself to a really good spa day. Okay? Go get my chin waxed. One day I'm going to get a Brazilian wax. I have to. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting drunk before I do that. But um, other than that, I just shave, kind of shave it off. Um, my sister was saying use Nair so that way I won't get any hair bumps. But I know how to use hair Nair on that. It gets infected. But anyway, uh, but just the bikini area she was talking about and my stomach too. So um, I'm going to see if I can get my chin waxed and my nails and my feet done all in one setting. So I can walk out the nail shop like this. Tommy, you, you finna? Oh, you can your nails done still? Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm finna go to get some tea, so I can feel important. Excuse me. And I have to go 
without any makeup on so people will know that I just did like a renumber on myself I'm gonna actually go get my whole face wax one day but I want to try my chin first um they're probably gonna get all up in here which is so insulting when I used to get my eyebrows done a while back before I started getting irritated from the wax and making like I lost a boxing match because it used to get puffy and burn my eyebrows because I was allergic to it um, or something was breaking out I'll be irritated about it and then all of a sudden it's just like they started waxing in between my eyebrows I'm like I get insulted because I don't have a unibrow what are you doing they probably gonna say oh eyebrow too I'm like just just chin today just chin today okay thank you um I'm gonna say chin waxing and then they do toes they do whole face so if you got hair growing your toes I do have like a little hair right here too. And like I said, ain't no shame in my game, you guys. I know this is disgusting. And I know you guys are like, why are you sharing all of this? I'm gonna unsubscribe. Ew, you hairy bastard. But I just wanna let you guys know more about me. You know, these are some insecurities that I've always had that I'll be I was afraid of people leaving me because oh I got hair on my chin. I got a little hair on my stomach. But if I can take care of these things by going to the nail shop and and nobody ever made me feel bad about it by saying, oh, you got hair on your chin. Ugh, oh, my gosh, this nigga got hair on my chin. But it's just that when I wear a two piece, sometimes I feel like, oh, shoot, I got to shave or, you know, when I when I got to shave this area because there's like hair right here. But it's not like hair, like it's a trail to paradise. It's just like like little bitty like it's kind of like. Let me see if my edges are kind of where it's at. Let's see if I can use my edges as an example. I I got hair on my stomach. Okay, it's not visible, but it's growing like little little. It's it's like it's 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 hair on my stomach. So um, I'm gonna start making an appointment to just get the excess hair off of me because and trying to keep that appointment going because I want to start taking care of myself inside and out. Um, even though I need to work more on the inside, I just want to make sure that I'm doing what makes me happy. You know what I mean? And again, nobody pointed out my insecurities. These are things that I've always felt bad about myself. Like when I went to go get, if you look at my videos way in the past, every time I talked to y'all, y'all saw that one tooth sticking out like this. And I was just like, yeah, everybody, welcome to my video. Um, I was with somebody at the time who called it a shark tooth. Now I was already insecure. I was already insecure about that tooth before I even met that person, even growing up as a teenager and all that. I had somebody ask me, what's wrong with your teeth? When I was like 11 years old and I just ran away. You know, just ran ran from ran from him. You know, he was about nineteen years old with gray hair, and they called him ninety nine because he had gray hair. But I, I, one thing I would never do is make fun of something that somebody can't help at the moment, or even if they can help themselves to get rid of it or whatever later on. That's still not something I would bring up. Even if I'm mad at you, I would never bring up something you can't help. Even if you decide, well, I want to keep this. I've grown to love it. Like there are people out there with gaps. There are people out there with crooked teeth. There are people out there with, you know, that just don't want. You know, the people that were hair on their chin, sideburns, hair, on, you know, you know, werewolf. And they're like, I like myself like this. And it's going to be a package deal. You're going to accept me and all my hair or are you going to get lost? You know, that's how I was with my teeth after a while. But then when I started looking at every video and my bottom teeth show a lot when I talk. And that's all you can see is that tooth. And um, I got rid of it. When I went to the dentist last year, the guy was just like, so do you want to, uh, this is this how my dentist sound. You want to pull that teeth too? I said, please, can I pull it? He said, it's up to you. I'm like, yeah, yes. Actually, this was 2019. I had like four appointments back to back. Appointment this week, appointment that week, and appointment this week. All back to back from the dentist. And I didn't even know you're supposed to have appointments that close together. But yeah, so that happened. And I told him, yes, please put it out. And I went like this. And I showed a picture to my family, like, that tooth is gone. And one thing my mom and my sister did say is, I would have never noticed it if you didn't point it out. But to me, it was so noticeable. And I know every time I talk to people, they would notice it too. It's just, it's just it was an insecurity of mine. Not of, not of what somebody else said. Just like the hair on my chin and the hair that's on my stomach, all that. And it's it's not that bad, but it's more like, it's, it's just it's just unwanted still, you know. You can barely see it, but it's still unwanted, you know. And I want to be able to wear a two-piece, even if my stomach is big. Who cares, okay? Because there's people out there looking worse, wearing stuff that they shouldn't be wearing. But, hey, you know what? They feel comfortable with what they got on, so I'm going to feel comfortable with what I got on. Ever wear your eyes so hard you stumble? Anyway, so it was never an insecurity of anybody else's that made me insecure. It's just something I always look at the mirror and say, I don't like this. 
I'm going to do something about it. Even the simple fact that I barely have any edges, I know what I did as to the reason why I don't have any edges. I used to cut my hair. I used to make beady beads, pull it out, and strands of hair used to come out. I used to pull my hair too tight in ponytails, even when I had braids or whatever. And I, and I, and I knew what I did as to the reason why I don't have barely any edges. But nobody said, oh, you ain't got no edges. Ah! Nobody's ever said that to me. Um, but it's just like, these are things that I, I'm working on. I'm putting black castor, black Jamaican castor oil on. And I also got this. Let me show you guys. I don't know if it's in my hair basket or if it's in my drawer. Let me show you guys. I think this is, um, this is some edge control that I got from Wild Beauty Supply. Let me show you. Right here. It says it's the Kiss Cannabis Sativa Hemp Seed Edge Fixer. And it says Maximum Hold. And it's this right here. I got this from Wild Beauty Supply. Now, if it says edge fixer, does that mean it's gonna grow my edges or is it just gonna like fix my edges to lay down? So, it's so many things to come out of that word fixer, so I don't know. Maybe a quick fixer upper, I don't know. So, we'll see. Um, other than that, let me go ahead and get my evening started so I can go to bed early. And tomorrow is my payday, plus it's Friday. I had a day today, but I try my best not to let it get to me. Because um, getting yelled at and being told certain things and being my job being threatened by this person is, I'm not going to really get into it. I'm just going to say there's somebody out there that's going through much worse than me. And I need to just be grateful for what I'm going through because I could be jobless um, due to what I would do to that person or what I would not. No, 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 no due to what I would say to that person that would get me fired, okay? And I don't want to do that because this is a job that I'm going to need until I find something else. And I've been putting my applications in like crazy on Indeed. So I, you know, I want to hold on to this. But like I said, I'm just going to pray for that person. And hopefully I will steer clear of that person tomorrow because I do not want to run into any problems on this new job. That's why. So... This was the longest chit chat ever. I'm I'm so contemplating on what I want to eat for dinner. Don't want to go somewhere and get some Chinese food. Cause y'all, I'm sorry. The fried rice swimming in beef and broccoli juice sounds amazing ass right now. It does. And or do I want to sunk my teeth into some white or wheat bread coca combo type of thing from Subway? Or do I want a murray salad from Subway? Double chicken chopped salad from Subway. Them niggas don't sound bad right now at all. But I'm going to wait. I'm going to try to eat healthy during the week. I think that's what my oldest sister was going to do too. And then have one cheat meal on the weekend. That's it. Not a cheat day, but a cheat meal. And I have to make sure my portions are... Lately, my sister has to make in dinner. When she made the greens, that's, that was enough for you to get seconds if you want it. But what I'm going to try to do is, I noticed that she'll be making dinner where you only, it's only enough for you to get some once, which is great because it stopped me from getting seconds. And it's just like, well, you don't need no bowl of cereal, girl. You don't need this. You don't need that. You don't even need no extra pair of fruit. Go lay down. Drink some water. And drink, drink a lot of water. That, that should make you full. You know what I mean? Just to stop myself from eating, you know, so much and stuff that I haven't been eating. So during the week, even when I'm at work, vending machines are like calling me. <laughs> I want to be able to work hard enough so I can appreciate my little incentives. You know what I mean? Like, I deserve this soda and a half. I, I, yeah, yeah, you, you mean to tell me that I, you know, I want to work, I want to, I want to work hard enough and give myself incentives. You know what I mean? When it comes to my diet and getting healthy and stuff, do I have to have a cheat meal every weekend? No. But, um, you know, how people say that's my cheat day. You're not going to be eating junk throughout the whole day. You're just going to be having like a, like a cheat meal and maybe a couple of snacks. That's like unreasonable with um, calories. And um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be working on right now. Is that a spider on the ceiling? Why do I like to live on a freaking ceiling? What is up with y'all? Y'all ugly. What's going on? Don't you hate when you kill a spider when you see a spider and you shoot something at it? And it falls, and it's like, yeah, I got it. And it still act like it want to be alive. This morning, it was a black widow or a black spider up there. It fell down, and as I was spraying it with alcohol, it ran and hid in my stuff. So either I will find a dead spider or a spider that's alive that's going to bite my ass. I don't know. So let me go ahead and get my day started. I've said this so many times, you guys. I don't even know what I want to even talk about anymore. Oh, so I did leave my glasses on the floor. Hell no.
never again. I'm gonna start collecting some more glasses, but um, I still have quite a few stuff I need to get from my sister and my brother in law's house. Like, I don't know, the rest of my stuff. And uh, I still have some more, more blankets and stuff over there. I'm gonna eventually buy a futon because, um, yeah. But first, I want to go to and get a nice, nice black based rug, like a rug with a lot of black in it. Because I'm going to eventually get some new curtains. And I had these curtains up here. You see that curtain that I put up there with thumbtacks? There's no curtain rod. That curtain, I bought that in 2018 from Amazon. And this black sheet is a sheet set that I got from DD's Discounts or the Goodwill, one of them. And yeah, this sheet right here. That's a fitted sheet that didn't fit on my queen bed at the time. I mean, that didn't fit on my full bed at the time when I had a bed in here. Um, but I'm going to put a futon in here, which shouldn't be that bad. I'm going to have it on over here, not touching the wall. But I'm going to have it over here in this area right there. And I'm going to buy another futon for whoever else wants to sleep in here with me. Because um, I think my sister's goal is to pretty much have the living room space free. In case, like, say, like, my sister and my brother-in-law and all the kids come over, they should be able to kind of sleep in, like, the living room and whatever area. But we got a lot of projecting to do. I, I'm thinking about buying a steamer to make sure I, like, kind of revive the carpets and everything. And Kiwi dug a hole in the carpet when she was trying to get into this room a while back when we used to be here. Um, what else? Yeah, we're going to thug it out up in this place before we decide to move anywhere else. We're going to have to thug it out. Anyway, you guys, let me go ahead and let y'all little birds go. I see y'all later. Thank you so much for watching my videos. All 45 of you guys are amazing. Even those who just view my videos and don't really know if you want to subscribe just yet. Here's what I want to encourage you to do. Subscribe. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much. I'll see you later. Nails.